Good day, my name is Blue Suit and today I'll be going over my review of the turn-based strategy RPG DLC to Celasta Crown of the Magister, Lost Valley. In Lost Valley, you take your team of adventurers and fall face first into the Valley of the Dominion, a land mostly cut off from the rest of the world by the same cataclysmic event that preceded the base game. Upon entry, you discover a world embroiled in politics that seems perfect on the surface, led by a seemingly kind and well-intentioned ruler named Oranetis. The story in Lost Valley is one of the DLC's high points, so I won't get into the tall grass too much, but I will say that the writing, dialogue, and voice acting are on par with, or even at times exceed that of the base game storyline. It does get off to a sort of disorienting start, and the awkward animations are definitely here to stay, but I found myself engrossed in the story and even much of the side content as there are loads of little tidbits of knowledge to discover about this new world and the people in it. The basics are that you are stuck here in the valley while on a rescue mission you'll have to side with one of the factions that live within the Dominion in order to get out. It's nice they brought back factions and what's great about them is how much the story changes depending on which one you decide to help. Deepening the story further are a slew of dialogue choices that impact how characters treat you and some that can unlock new endings depending on what faction you decide to join to escape the tyranny of Oranetis. Lost Valley is a full 1 to 12 level campaign that players can expect to spend a few dozen hours in, but with the multiple different ways to tackle the story, you'll have to play through several times to see all of its available content. In addition to the big new campaign, Lost Valley also ushers in new subclasses for every single class, to include the Barbarians and Druids from the Primal Calling DLC. At first glance, it seems like some of these subclasses were more thought out than others, as my rogue hoodlum only gets new traits at levels 3 and 9, but after playing through, they definitely feel balanced and add a new layer of replayability to a game that already has so much. My favorite so far, honestly, has been the new wizard subclass, the Court Mage. I intentionally picked all the classes that seemed the worst to get a feel for where the weak links were, and this was one that surprised me the most. It takes the wizard and basically turns it into an off-tank who can reflexively shield nearby allies who are about to take a beating. She was a godsend to have positioned next to my tank or to prevent my assassin from getting obliterated. Which, in fact, is one of the strongest new subclasses, the Swift Blade, a dual-wielding ranger who can get in and out of fights easily to kill enemy damage dealers. Each of these subclasses feels like a meaningful addition as they do dramatically change the way each class plays, like turning rangers into assassins, wizards into tanks, rogues into bruisers, or even clerics into tricksters. And since you can only have four person parties, there's plenty of reasons to give Lost Valley a second or even third playthrough, possibly even with friends as this DLC does support the new co-op mode that was recently introduced. The last big thing that Lost Valley brings to Celasta is new dungeon maker content with monsters and locations to add to your homebrew games. These complex and powerful tools aren't for everyone, but if you have the time to dive into it, it's one of the deepest digital campaign crafting tools that I've used, and it's getting deeper with the free update that's dropping alongside Lost Valley with new systems that let you design your own quests, dialogue, and loot tables, as well as download campaigns that other players have made from the Steam Workshop. You can pick up Celasta's Lost Valley DLC when it launches tomorrow, April 14th, 2022. Now, a little birdie told me that it's going to cost 13 bucks on release, which is a pretty sweet deal considering how much this adds to the base game and that there's going to be a week-long sale on release for the base game and previous DLC. With nine new subclasses and totally new world to explore and an entire 12-level campaign, Lost Valley definitely could have been a standalone game. It comes equipped with outdated graphics and some comical animations, but for players who really love tabletop RPGs, it's a must buy. So I'm valuing Lost Valley at $25, and I highly recommend it to everyone who enjoyed Celasta Crown of the Magister, and if you haven't played it, picking up the whole bundle now is a fantastic idea. I hope you enjoyed this review of Celasta's Lost Valley. Come see me on Twitch where you can watch our reviews in progress. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Until next time.